module, an inductor, a compensator, and two battery. Okay. So we gotta make some kind of doohickey here in order to progress to the next room, I guess. Since I'm heading back to the ship anyway, I'm just looking for anything I can carry. Take anything not tied down. Okay, inventory full. Okay, anti-grav. Four gravity module, an inductor, a compensator, and two battery. Someone made a mess all over my floor shot. I feel like I have got batteries in one of these spots. There's one. There's a battery. There's a battery. Alright, so that's two batteries. Uh, gravity module. There's one. How many did I need? Three more, and then an inductor and a compensator. What does... Oh, that's the non-conductive gel? That thing is huge. God, organization in this game is so lacking. Do I not have any more? I swear I've picked up some of those. Are they in just mixed into this pile somewhere? Oh wait, I think I see one there. There's one. Hold on, can I... Where's a, um... The suitcase. Can I make a suitcase? This is getting out of hand. Four refined metal. This is a lot of metal. You're just role-playing the character's mental capability in regards to organization. Thank you. That makes me feel far better. <laughs> Gosh. that. Okay. Alright, that's done. I'm trying to put anything non-metallic in here. Alright, weird story stuff can go in here. Alright. Can I make another suitcase? Do I have any more refined metal? There's one. There we go, okay. <sighs> this is taking like all the refined metal I got. I, it's not like I could have done this much earlier than now. All right. So this is gonna be the metal box. Oh, there's another gravity module, nice. And put the gel in here.
totally gonna save the game after all of this mess. So that we don't have to do this again. Uh, do I have the fabric? All right, so got three gravity modules. After this, this over here was all story crap. I've got three gravity modules, and I need four, unless there's one up here. And it is looking like there is not. Okay. Oh, there's a light bulb. Is resin metallic? I want to put resin in the non-metallics. I'm not sure. I don't know much about resin. Okay. Got some room up there. Let's get these monsters. Resin's like plastic. Educational stream chat. Oh, 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 not that, not that. Uh, I do like how the game auto sorts. True, true, plus one that. I do agree with that. <laughs> the undies. All right, hold on. <laughs> Never do this again. Uh, let's look out there again. Dude, if we lose the Normandy, like in the very near future, and I get another ship, I'm just going. To, I'm going to have to just sit here for like five minutes just to process before I can continue the game. <laughs> it took. My, like, last few hours worth of refined metal in order to be able to make this that organizational system, which is two suitcases thrown on the ground. Did I just get one? I think I did. I think I did. Oh, nice. I don't have to leave and come back. Four grab modules, an inductor, a compensator, two batteries. That was like, I don't know if any of you ever played um, Dungeon Siege or Dungeon Siege 2. Those games did uh, auto sorting really well. Merrick TV, welcome. I know all of you have just been watching some quality Guild Wars 2 entertainment, so get ready for disappointment. Because muck like Douglas Buth, I'll be Reginald Esquire the fourth, the Sir Chauncey Van Stuffles the third, welcomes all of you to the Bound Zone. Hope you enjoy your stay tuned, Cripples on the Way giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. We are currently playing Breath Edge, the newest survival RPG on the market. And uh, it's it's very Russian, it's very comrade, it has a lot of very crass humor, and it made me turn family friendly off. And I think you, you guys might love it. I don't know, that's up to you. Uh, right now we're doing some crafting with uh, duct tape. I need two batteries, an inductor, and a compensator. Uh, there's two batteries. What does a conductor require? Did the Humble Bundle giveaway go well? It did, d Dog. it did. It was uh, about 200 people fighting for it. And I gave it to one, and I told him, if you have any trouble with this code, let me know. I'll give you the name of uh, Doc Doc so you can punch him in the face. And then I said, for legal reasons, that's a joke. But you know how it goes. You know how it goes. All right, I need an inductor and a compensator. Where is that? Here's the compensator. Alkali, two refined metal, and titanium. Okay. Alkali... Uh, refined metal, one, two, three, four, and a titanium. Resources, one of those. Took three tries to give it up. Yes, that, that is true. The first two winners missed out big time because they went AFK at the wrong moment. What's the objective of this game? Survive. Uh, basically, you're, you're on a ship that, uh, you're on a ship that's, like, a, a massive, massive ship. Like, thousands of people were on it, and it crashed in space. And you're going around and try, like, you know, when you leave the ship, you're limited oxygen. Um, you, you're, you're on a, uh, I'm on a tiny pod right now. And you go out, you get ice to make water, you get nutrient packs from the wreckage to make food. So you're, you got food, water, oxygen, there's radiation. You're trying to live and figure out what happened and get out alive. That's, that's, how, that's the jam. Uh, okay, so we've got a compensator. What was the other thing I needed to make? An inductor. 
Plastic and two wires. That should be easy. Wire, wire. Oh, wow, that's my last wiring. Ugh. That's the last of the wires I've got. Uh, inductor. I like how no matter what I make, it's covered in duct tape. Like every item. Okay. According to the spacesuit, this thing should successfully power the gravity control system. As for me, it's just some kind of mutated battery. Uh, wait, what did the rest of that say? I wonder why we need to disable gravity in the technical ventilation passages at all. Hope it wasn't drawing the Hellboy giveaway. A dog freaked out like 20 minutes. I hope your dog's okay. Alright, so we've got a sort of a puzzle up ahead, and we needed this anti-grav system I just taped together in order to get past it. So we're running back over there right now, and we're going to see what this does. Now you face a fine under Clause 867A of the agreement for damaging the spacesuit with slime of an unknown origin. <laughs> Uh, let's eat and drink. Oh, a compensator, fully built, nice. These are the tracks of the survivors. It's a shame they are bloody. Oh, there's wire. That's a foot. Aluminum. Fine metal, coffins, those doors don't work. I've detected some signs of an unknown infection on this body. According to intergalactic regulation number six, you must take some samples. I don't want a nasal swab sample. That's a nail. That is not a na uh, swab. That is literally a nail and like a paper clip. A sample of the victim's nasal secretion. In the absence of medical equipment, it was taken with a rusty nail lying around, but who cares? Although I don't think the sample will help anyone. It never hurts to be too cautious. There is a chance that the death was due to a huge hole in his stomach. And there are no traces of infection besides common acne on his face. Still, it's better to be safe and send the sample to Earth. Otherwise, it might turn out like in 2020 with COVID-19. But only we will be the ones to blame. Did this game just make fun of COVID? Okay, that's that hits a little close to home. <laughs> wow, yo, the per, yeah, that that's common acne apparently. I've seen some like animes and stuff where people are like wearing masks and things like that. But, uh, I hadn't seen anyone, like, make fun of it until now. Calvid-19. There was a real massacre here not so long ago. Thanks for the info. It looks like a strange egg. Maybe something could hatch out of it, but for some reason the chicken doesn't want to sit on it. It has what udders. Throw it away! <laughs> Throw it away. Judging by the tangled footprints leading from the cabin, the mutant attacked these unfortunate fellows and got drunk on their blood, which had a lot of something alcohol containing in it. Hoof prints. <laughs> Dude, what is this stupid monster? Uh, an advertisement poster of a non-alcoholic beer which was drunk at the famous teetotaler's mathematical Olympiad. I don't know if it was really popular among the participants of the Olympiad, but there were definitely no sober people among the audience. Lycoplasma is not terribly common, so let's drop the metal and pick this up. Uh, 
By the way, there's a chance that these are the only survivors besides us and your interlocutor with a strange accent. To be more precise, they were the only survivors until you launched a capsule with a mutant at them. Dude, you did- you told me to do that. Oh wait, a fully built inductor? Oh, th I thought it was going to... <gasps> it is! The cow looks like Predator. It's totally making fun of Predator with a cow chicken. By the way, we found the shuttles. Oh my god. However, we only needed their armor. I don't understand language, but it definitely wants to kill us. It's close. This shuttle has armor plates. What? What? Which shuttle? The thing I'm the I'm running. I tabbed over to get horse suit the time. <laughs> the shuttle is under repair. We need to examine it. These sounds aren't good. Looks like it's the control panel for the jack. Here it is, an armor plate that we can use to close the hole in the core. They haven't fully welded it. You need to tear off the brackets and lower the jack. How? What? What? I... Okay, I gotta lower it first, right? How... I, I can't interact with this. I can't reach that. I can't climb up that. Hey, Muck. What's up, Brick? Uh... Generator stable? Anti-grav? I mean, yeah, if we could turn the anti-grav off, that'd be great. Let's look around. Or if we could turn the gravity off. Ah, uh, Rainy Monday gifting a sub. Thank you, buddy. Muck like Douglas Bartholomew, mean, Reginald S. Squat the fourth, and Sir Thomas Ivan Snuffles the third. Welcome to you, Rissner, to the Bone Zone VIP Lounge. Hope you enjoy your stay. Teen Girls on the Way giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Hmm. Oh, it says shoot the brackets. I didn't see that. Uh, man, I do not have a lot of shots left of this thing. Thank you, Rainy. Appreciate that. Up until this point in the game, the blaster has only harmed, like, enemies. It hasn't hurt destructible objects. So, until you pointed out what the text said, I didn't think that was going to be it. That does not appear to be working. Really? Yo, that many shots? I don't think I'm gonna have enough bullets. Alright, I got I'm gonna have to reload and be more careful. I, I'm literally gonna run out of bullets. Or shots, whatever. Enough. 
Lower the jack. The last shot. Well, chat, now there's an alien chasing me and I got no bullets. Uh, I didn't think that the weight of the plate was more than 900 kilos. Maybe we should take a closer look at it. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Judging by the remains of the mutant, the plate is really heavy. Are you sure you can't carry it? I hope it was the only one here. It doesn't look like we can carry it. This is a mechanic from some other game. You don't have any strength at all. It's time to go back. This is a mechanic from another game. <laughs> 